We're at Heritage Park for a meaningful event during this edition of Irvine Scene. Shine the Light, a walking vigil, shows solidarity to victims and survivors of domestic violence. Human Options is a nonprofit partnering with the city and the Irvine Police Department. I'm doing a walking vigil for Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Unfortunately, many individuals die at the hands of their abuser, and so we're trying to raise awareness during this important month about that and then honor those individuals who have lost their lives and learn from the, those stories so that we can make sure and prevent future loss of life and also really prevent uh, additional impact. This is the first time we're actually having this walking vigil here at Heritage Park. Um, and I know from Human Options, uh, they'd like to make this an annual event to really educate the community, uh, to provide support for those that need it, and um, just take a stand against the, the violence that comes with a relationship and domestic violence. Human Options, based in Irvine, has been helping people get out of abusive relationships since 1981. In our 40-year history, we have about 500,000 individuals um, that we've served and helped in Orange County alone. Um, every year, we have about 5,000 individuals who call our hotline that are getting connected to some type of service. The message for someone who is a listener? As somebody who's um, got the privilege of hearing that story is to really take a minute and to tell them they are not alone, that they, they are cared about because what they hear from the abuser all the time is that they aren't. So it's opportunities like this that we have to raise awareness and to tell survivors and victims they are not alone. Purple is the color associated with Domestic Violence Awareness Month and City Hall is paying tribute. Here, attendees have purple lights as part of the vigil and it tells the story from their perspective. So we're gonna take a minute and reflect on that story as we walk around the lake and uh, with our candles and really sort of provide space um, for the stories that survivors have told throughout the years. I think this event is very critical. It's, it's really uh, a good reminder for all of us, especially leaders of the community to come together and uh, acknowledge the importance of a partner like Human Options. I think the setting is perfect. You look at the common piece behind us and that is exactly what we're looking to accomplish by providing uh, the, that assistance and those resources to victims of these crimes. We are not safe from domestic violence here in Irvine. The fact that we do have calls coming into our IPD, we do have calls um, asking for help, and then we do have people that are entering shelters. It's something that no one is immune to, but this is an opportunity for us to educate and let people know that there are resources out there for them. Well, I think the idea of a vigil is to remind people. This is one of those problems that people don't like to think about, and it's very easily out of public view, and people are more comfortable when it's kept out of public view. Well, I think it's our job as responsible citizens, certainly as civic leaders, to shine the light, whether it's candlelight or any other kind of light, shine the light on this problem. Most important thing to me is that a lot of times the victims feel isolated and alone, like they can't talk about it and they don't know what to do about it. And so that is why having events like this where we talk about it and we give people resources, I think is really important, even though it's an emotionally challenging event. On our website, they might be able to see some information about warning signs and resources that are available to them. And so we encourage them to do that, but if they really need help immediately to call our hotline. You can also get involved through fundraising, advocacy, and partnership in order to help empower survivors on their healing journey. Visit humanoptions.org for more information. For Irvine Scene, I'm Jacqueline Twegg.